Hi there, it's Jeff here again with another in our series of four marker exam walkthroughs. So this is an interesting question about collusion within an oligopoly. Here's the stem for you. Pilgrim's Pride, it's one of the biggest chicken suppliers in the United States. It's been fined for price fixing with Tyson Foods and other chicken suppliers. What the firms did was they limited production to force prices higher and harm major customers, including the iconic KFC. And Pilgrim's Pride is thought to have gained at least $360 million in total revenue from this price fixing. Great question. Uh, well, a great stem. Here's the question. Draw a simple two-firm, two-outcome game theory model to show why the chicken suppliers may have colluded. So for this exam, you'll just only need to have one example of price fixing in a game theory context. One example of two-player, two-outcome models with non-price competition. Advertising, for example. So this is a price fixing um, example. So you draw yourself a matrix table, and here's mine. The two firms, Pilgrim Sprite on the top. Uh, their data will always be the right-hand side of the information, and Tyson Foods on the left. Their information will be on the left-hand side in the matrix table. I think it's quite important to make it clear what we're measuring here. So I've put expected revenue in millions of dollars. It could be profit, but the STEM mentions revenue. So that's what I've done. And the simple two firm, two outcome model is what happens if they set a low price for their chicken and what happens if they set a high price. So I'm going to assume that if they both set a low price, they can expect revenues of $200 million each. Essentially, that's the kind of price cutting, price competition equilibrium. What you want to show, of course, and it's shown here in red, is that price fixing or price collusion leads to an increase in total revenue. So they're acting together in this collusive cartel agreement to increase the total revenues so they're both better off than if they'd charged a low price. So I've gone for 561 because it's 361 million above the low price. It did say in the stem they gained at least 361 million dollars in revenue from the collusion. So I've gone for 561 each. So you're showing here very clearly that collusion in theory can lead to much higher revenues for these chicken suppliers. However, if uh, they both agreed to collude and then Pilgrim's Pride had a second move, they might lower their prices to take market share away from Tyson Foods. Their revenues could go up to 600 and Tyson would suffer a big fall in revenues. Of course, that's true for Tyson Foods as well. So if they reneged on the agreement and set a low price of 100, uh, or just a low price, their revenues would go up, Pilgrim's Pride revenues would go down. OK, so that's the basic model that expected revenues are higher if they both collude at high prices. But price collusion might invite other firms to cut their prices or some sort of ta you know, tacit underhand price cutting um, will cause a big loss of revenue. So collusion in theory brings about higher revenues in joint terms for both firms involved. The examiner says... Practice payoff matrix diagrams. Ensure there is a clear logic in the numbers as to what firms are doing and why this is rational behaviour. So I've said before, for the exam, you need one example of a payoff matrix for price fixing and one example of firms deciding on whether to go for high or low advertising spend, marketing spend, R&D spending, so on and so forth. Have a couple of examples in your revision notes and you should be fine for the exam. Thanks for joining in. Take care. See you soon.